Hey, what's going on everybody? How's it going? John here with another video. Hope you guys are doing well. Keeping your vibrations way up high to the trees, the sky, the clouds, way up high and high on vibrations. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day, morning, afternoon, wherever you guys are watching this video. Yeah, it's back to, I'm at the river. It's back to smoky skies again. I'm guessing the wildfires in Canada are happening or still happening and I mean it was literally just a clear back to normal crystal clear blue sky yesterday and now all of a sudden I wake I come out first thing in the morning not too long ago it's a little smoky out and it like it's like it always happens overnight it's just like instantly it happened I'm like I question like it's like, of course we're doing this now because we're right around the summer solstice. They don't want that energy. We don't, they don't want us getting that energy from up there, from the sun. They don't want, they don't want that coming down to us. But it's like we're getting it really regardless, so. I don't know. This is one thing after another with this reality, you know? But that's why it's just important just to focus on yourself because I want to talk more about is believe in yourself. Believe in what you feel is right to you and what you feel that benefits you to become a better person or a better version of yourself. It's like, literally, when people tell you what to believe in or what to do, like you shouldn't go down this path it's too hard, or why do you believe in that, this, that, it's just like, just let the person believe in what they want to believe. Like, I'm not saying this happened to me recently. I just feel like this is what I feel of now in the moment to give to this message to you guys right now. It's just, and it's true, it's just like, why, why let people, like, control your reality? Just believe what you want to believe. Believe what you want to do for yourself. It's like, with Christianity, I mean, if the person wants to believe in Christianity, let them believe it. As long as, it's just, as long as it makes them happy, that's what matters. As long as it's making them become a better person than they were before, at least it's keeping them from doing bad stuff, that's what matters. If they're being a good person, just loving, that's what matters. Love yourself, love other people. It starts with you first though. But this is, believe what you feel that makes you happy. If you feel like you wanna do this for a living, then do it. Don't let people like your parents or friends or whatever say, oh, why do you wanna do that? You should do this. This is better for you. It's just like it's what they want for them just to please themselves. That's really what it is. It's like you're your own narrator. You're the main character for your reality. So again, no one should control your reality. Don't don't let that happen. That's when you gotta really protect your energy from people like that. Like really protect your energy. It's just we should have the right to believe in what we want to believe for ourselves. If we want to do this to make a change and we trust within that it will change us for the better or do us good for our soul or whatever, anything that helps us grow, then I don't see the point why people see there's wrong in that. It's just like, believe and do what you want in this reality. It's your reality. Because when people tell you different, I believe that puts like energy blockages because then you sit and I hear, and this is, I believe this a hundred percent. Don't tell no one your plan until it's basically done. Don't tell no one your plan, do it on your own. Or if you need help along the way, find the right people that actually believe in you to build your plan up. Don't tell the people that doubt you or just say this about you it's just like don't no you got to protect your energy from those people they put energy blockages because then you have self-doubt you say maybe it is too hard maybe i can't do this then you 
then you lose confidence, motivation. Motivation is spark to the soul too. It's important to have that, especially in these times. Motivate yourself. We're constantly getting that energy up there, that ascension energy from the sun. It's time to build motivation and confidence in ourselves. If you're feeling down, get back up. It's hard, I know that. And there's no rush to anything. But again, just believe in yourself. Believe what you want for yourself. Follow your own path. Follow your, follow your own intuition. We all have our own intuition. Like, we all have different opinions. So we're gonna, of course we're gonna go different ways. That's the thing why people, I don't understand why people have to be little or say, why do you do this? It's like, we just need to focus on ourselves and do like trusting in our, in our own intuition on where to go in life, you know? Because that person doesn't know anything about you. The only one that knows anything about you is you. Follow your own beliefs. It's like, 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 um, like believing what happens after we die. Like, no one a hundred percent knows until we die, or at least having a near death experience, something like that. Like Christians, like, if y'all believe in heaven and hell that way, go for it. If it feels like it changes you as a person for the better, that's good. If it feels like it's giving me the right path to do better choices in life, that's what matters. As long as you're loving yourself, loving other people, you're on the right path. If you believe in this after you die, it's as long as it helps you become a better person and puts you on the right path, that's what matters. As At least it keeps you from doing bad things. Anything that benefits you and becomes a better person, go for it. Believe what you want. We all have free will. Do what's best for you to become a better person than you were before. That's what matters. It's always what matters. Ooh, these things are already growing. I was literally here yesterday, and these things literally just grow overnight. These things, I forget what they're called, but I love these things. They come out every year in June. Like, literally, I was here yesterday, and they're like this. Now, that growth spurt. I love nature. I just love the nature here. Like, I'm just so in tune with nature when I'm out here. Like, oh, the tree over there it has, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it has those, like, feathery, whatever you call those things, like the pink and the pink feather thing, pink and white feathery things on the leaves. I love those things, too. Like, it's, uh, God, the nature is so gorgeous here. It's just, like, so green, ambient. I'm at the river. The water's kind of low, but it's just so beautiful. And of course, you got the smoke in the sky or whatever that shit is up there. But I'm out in nature. Right? It's all that matters. I'm out here listening to the birds. This is like true music out here. I don't wear earbuds when I'm out in nature alone like this, like, this is music right here, and also you hear those, like, little clamping, I can't remember, I don't even know what those are called, but every now and then, like, when I'm out here or on the trail, they'll hear those, like, and it has to be by water, too, it's those little clanking things, it makes that, like, sounds like clams, kind of, it makes that little clapping sound or whatever. I don't know what they're called, but you like hear them make that noise. It's just like, it's basically like percussion, basically. But yeah, I don't know, I'm just in a good mood this morning. I feel like my energy feels, I'm just making this video just feel like I'm raising your guys' vibration and raising my vibration. I just love giving these messages out here to y'all and I love making these guided meditations on my other channel and there's more meditations to come too so stay tuned for that but i just want to give you guys this quick message but in the meantime i'll talk to you guys later